Rice is a staple. It's a symbol of home and comfort. A warm bowl of love in many Asian households. And this story of rice can inspire a sustainable future towards zero food waste. Say what you want. Uh, I really love rice. Oh, rice can do so many things, man. You can make chong fan, you can make jikui, you yeah. can make bihun. Indeed, Endless. it's one of the most versatile ingredients around. Bro, this is the one I'm telling you about. Chef Leong authentic hand milk, la. they make their own stuff. Hey, Lucas. Hi, morning, man. buddy. Good to see you, good to see you. Morning. My dad was an ex Raffles Hotel chef. He has been in the dim sum industry for almost 30 years. During the pandemic, all the shops were closed. To my dad, breakfast was a really important meal to him. While experimenting, we reached out to different suppliers for the old rice. It turns out that old rice is cheaper and it also gives a better texture to the chong fan. In general, old rice when cooked, it's not that pleasant to eat because it's hard. Uh, just coincidentally, it's really good for chong fan. The old rice also brings out the fragrance in the rice, so when the customer eats it, right, the taste of it will linger in the mouth. This low mai is how long? Low mai is at least one year. One year. Then it will be more than 10 hours. 10 hours. Because Singapore is summer throughout, right? It's quite a challenge uh, for milling the old rice because we need to control the temperature. We will soak the rice for 10 to 12 hours. But let's say it's in the rainy seasons, right? The timing will change. After soaking it, we will mill it in ice water to control the temperature. Don't talk to them. What do you say to them? What do you say to them? You have to take the blood in the blood. You have to take the blood in the blood. Watching my dad putting his devotion into doing his craft, it sparked something in me and my brother. So we decided to help him with his uh, hawker stall. You know, older generation hands to a new generation yeah. to continue defending this kind of food culture. Yeah, I'm all for it. Just want to ask you, how do you reduce food wastage? You know, I see your store like got nothing. Eh? You know, where, where? We have a lot of customers come down from uh, every part of Singapore. Uh. So when they come down, right, they will want to try all the dishes. So we will like, ask them uh, like, oh, how many of, of you are eating. Then we will advise them like, the correct portions uh, to order. Yeah, because my dad takes pride in his food, right? So we don't want to see like wastage. You go stop in the name of the... <laughs> <Yeah>. Don't order <laughs> so much. We are every day, every day, every day. We buy the new ones, but we will keep the new ones, keep the new ones. Our ingredients can use uh, across different dishes so as to minimize wastage. Let's say in terms of prawn, I can make it into prawn chong fan. I can put it into the seafood congee. So by the end of the day, all our ingredients will be sold out and there will be no leftovers. You know, the thing about being sustainable in your kitchen, you've got to really think hard about your ingredients. And I like it the fact that they use the prawns in another dish that they have also. So, you know, it's kind of like ingredients that can cross use. And it's comfort food. 100% Yo. man, you look at this, how to stop. As a hawker myself, you, you need to be really creative about how you plan your menu. You know what I mean? You, ideally, you can have like one ingredient that you can use for a few things. And then that makes your entire inventory so much less. Hawk. Tola Sifu, thank you.